Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's another video for you guys as usual, and I'm going to be talking about something that, as you can tell from the title, is somewhat kind of like, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> but the thing is, keep the tags on the shit that you buy. I am serious about this shit, because you have no idea that, well, you probably do, but anyway, this is my opinion and my opinion only, so if you don't want to hear it, then don't hear it. But this is pretty much my opinion on when you buy clothing. I think when you buy a certain type of clothing, whether it doesn't really matter what. It could be about. It could be socks. It could be shoes. It can be uh, t-shirts. It can be hoodies. Um, keep the tag. Goddamn fucking phone. But um, keep the tags on your clothes. Terrible timing. But um, keep the tags on your clothes because you. You never know when you don't like it anymore. You like, you might like it for that time, that one time. <clears throat> can't speak. Stupid braces. Um, I'm just gonna give you an example. I had a hoodie. Well, I still have the hoodie, but um, I regret buying it because I just hate it now. I just hate it. <laughs> um, I actually all my shit I have is from H and M and Forever Twenty One and Against All Odds. That's it. There's no other stores. Unless it's like, yeah, that's it. That's the only story, really. But um, the thing with the thing with fashion to me is that it, it's good in my view. My fashion, my fashion taste, fashion sense of style is good. Um, and I get a lot of compliments. I'm just being honest about my opinion. I mean, honest about my sense and shit. But anyway, on, on, I'm being off topic. But on to um, keeping the tags on clothes. It's always good because you never know if you're not gonna. If you're gonna hate it again, or, or like you're you're gonna dislike it, um, cause you you just wanna like return something in case or exchange at most, um, that you don't like something. Like you, some people buy something and they don't even like it anymore. They like it the first thing they see. That's me. But I now nowadays I just know what goes well with me and what doesn't. So if I don't like what I see, then I won't buy it, obviously. But um, the only thing I regret buying is snapbacks. A bunch of snapbacks. I have a bunch of snapbacks, so I'm gonna try and sell that in person to people, um, for like fifteen dollars each or twenty dollars each. But um, yeah, keep the tags on your clothes that you buy, cause you never know when you're gonna return it or exchange it. Sometimes you might not even like it anymore, so it's good to at least have the receipt and the tag. Keep the tag, keep the receipt, and if possible, just exchange it for something else. That's my whole thing and, and uh, generalization of it. Um, as you guys know, I have a bunch of pullover hoodies from H and M. That's pretty much what I only have. I don't wear anything else. I, I personally love the feeling and comfort of H and M hoodies. It's like really, really soft, and it goes well with anything really. Over this, like a, like a jacket or a denim vest or something. But yeah. Anyways, just keep tags on your clothes that you buy because you never know. So, yeah, because I have that. Um, feeling and sense when I buy something I'll hate it and then I want to return it again or exchange it so yeah I guess all in all just be careful what you buy and choose because I'm really kind of indecisive with what I buy but I know what what fits me well and what doesn't so I'd like to know your guys opinions on it so tell me do you guys keep the tags and receipt or you just pretty much throw it out and cut the shit off um, I keep I keep every single receipt and I actually sometimes keep the tags if I know that I'm gonna return it. So comment, subscribe, favorite like to show with your friends. If you like the video, why not give it a thumbs up? And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.